Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Hayekadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and the Holy Bible is our only standard for truth. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, friends. Well, I trust this finds you feeling bright and blessed ready to serve the Lord, full of joy and anticipation. Today is September the 25th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, having mentioned today's date, as I am recording this, it is September the 24th in the year of our Lord, 2017, one day after a very substantial date in the minds of many, and we have addressed this in much detail, so I won't spend a lot of time on it, but there were many that were hoping for the day of the Lord to occur on September 23rd, meaning that we would be raptured and propelled into the kingdom of God. And friends, as much as we would like that to be true, yet here we are, another day to serve the Lord Jesus, another day to experience him, another day to learn of him, another day to obey him, another day to lay up treasure awaiting us in the kingdom when we arrive. So I trust that you're busy for the Lord. I trust that your heart is full of joy and that your soul is bursting with living waters because of the great things that he has done in your life. You see, it says the old song says, I once was blind, but hallelujah, now I see. I once was lost, but praise the living God who saved my soul. Now I am found. And that's what I want to talk to you about today, friends. Our text is going to come out of Psalm chapter 146, and I want to begin in verse 1. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. Don't focus yourself upon the things in this life, but praise the Lord for the victory that surrounds him, that encompasses him. Our God who is full of life and light, joy and hope, praise ye the Lord. While I live, will I praise the Lord. If I have been found guilty of anticipating the day of the Lord, forgive me, O God, and give me the joy to serve you with happiness and a smile upon my face so that while I live, I will praise my God. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. Do not put your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man in whom there is no hope. Now, when it says son of man here, it's not talking about Jesus as the son of man, but it's talking about the sons of men, the rulers of this earth, of our nations. Do not put your trust in them. There is no help found in them. His breath goeth forth and he returneth to the earth. In that very day, his thoughts perish. But happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help whose hope is in the Lord his God, the God who made heaven and earth and the sea and all that therein is, the God who keeps truth forever. There is no compromise with him. There certainly is no lie or deception with him. But he is the God of heaven and earth, the sea and all therein that is, and keeps truth forever. He executes judgment For the oppressed. We may not feel like we are vindicated in this life, but God is our revenge, friends. There is a day of judgment that is coming for all those who oppress those who have been washed in the blood, friends. And so you seek not vengeance, but vengeance is of the Lord. Amen? He gives food to the hungry, and the Lord looses the prisoners. Friends, you were a prisoner of sin one time. At one time in your life, you were a slave to sin. But by the mercy of God and by the power of God and by the victory of God, you have been set free. You are no longer bound with those chains of sin. 
The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. You have begun to understand things in the spiritual realm, friends, that at one time you couldn't even begin to imagine. The Lord raises those that are bowed down, the humble. You see, We've mentioned this in the past, but we are humble. We, we lower ourselves before him. He is our king. And so we bow before him and he lifts us up and he exalts us as kings and priests. And yet we take our crown off of our head. We lay it at his feet, the only one who is worthy. And we again bow before him. And each and every time he stands us up, we again bow before him because he is God. He is Lord. He is Messiah. He is worthy of praise and adoration. And we've done nothing to deserve anything from his hand. And so we bow ourselves, we lower ourselves before him, and he loves the righteous for doing so. The Lord preserves the strangers. He relieves the fatherless and the widow. But the way of the wicked, he turns upside down. You see, the Lord shall reign forever, even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations. Every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus is, is truly Lord of Lord. And you know, friends, as this day approached us, September 23rd, speaking of, many were looking for the kingdom, for all the bountiful beauty and reward that it has to offer. And yet, friends, I have to tell you, if that day had come or when that day comes, all the treasure that he offers unto me, and I can only speak for me, but all the treasure that he offers unto me will be pushed to the side. For I truly only want to know and see the one who purchased me, who forgave me, who looked beyond my sin and offered me the joy and the fellowship that I will enjoy with him throughout eternity. And so as this psalm ends, the Lord shall reign forever. He is king even thy God, O Zion, unto all the generations. And so praise ye the Lord. And friends, that's how we should wake up each and every morning with a song upon our heart, with joy in our souls for the great things that our God has done for us, is doing for us, and will continue to do for us. When seeing who we were, the darkness of our soul, the fate of our lives, in understanding who we were and who we are now in God because of what Jesus has done for us, how can anything but hallelujah leave our lips? Oh, friends, I don't know what heaven is going to be like, as do none of us, but I can tell you this. The reason that we're going to leave these bodies and we're going to enter into new heavenly bodies is because this body cannot contain what awaits us. If you feel the joy of the Lord, if you feel the rushing living waters flowing forth from you, even now in these moments, you feel like you're about to burst, like you're about to be raptured. And if that's just a small taste of what is to come, hallelujah. Come, Lord Jesus. So friends, I invite you today to push everything to the side, put everything behind you, and walk in the exaltation of your King and focus upon the fact that you belong to Him. Hallelujah. Well, I love you, friends. Again, I'm so glad that you're here with us this morning. I pray that your day will be blessed in Jesus, will be full of the Spirit, and that your heart and soul will will be full of joy. Now, as he wills, and until next time, friends, I truly love you, and I'll see you on the next video.